Hello, and welcome to Let Play Story of the Blanks. Um, I'm Spunky6, and I will be the Let Player for today. Basically, this game is set up to look like an 8-bit My Little Pony game, but... Well, I mean, it is an 8-bit My Little Pony game, but it is anything but the nice little game you would expect. It is actually fairly terrifying, and uh, I can't tell if this is going to be more than one episode or not. I can't remember how long this game is, but uh, I'm going to try to make it a mini lot play. Maybe it'll be two episodes or something. And how do I continue? All right, see. Yeah, and this first part's basically just to set up the actual game. Because, basically, what, what makes this freaky is that it starts off really cute and normal, but um, then later on it gets really creepy. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can hear, but uh, family's watching the Bills game in the background. Big Bills fans here, so if you can hear that, I apologize. It's all right. <laughs> all right, not a lot to comment on here right now. They're just having a silly conversation. Sorry, That's all right. <laughs> yes, it is. I'm just accepting an apology. And, yeah, you actually can't go this way. I mean, you can go a little bit, but nothing happens. Yeah, you can't go this way either. And no matter what, you can't catch this other pony. She just walks, like, a certain distance ahead of you the whole time. And right here, yeah, you're going to want to, since she said to foul you, you're going to be like, oh, I'll just not foul her because that's generally what makes these things creepy but right now you have to follow her or else it doesn't work and as you can see these woods are not a great place to be they're kind of dark and uh, you haven't seen anything yet at this point it gets a lot weirder than that Yeah, you're starting to see it now. This game uses color to good effect to make things creepy. It gets darker when it's supposed to be scarier. And uh, you'll see later on, it gets really weird. Tree kind of looks like the uh, Deku tree. Probably is, for all we know. <laughs> what the hay? Hay is for horses, you silly pony. And yeah, now you gotta walk back. This is going to be a pain in the butt if it takes more than one episode, which I think it's going to, because I'm going to have to do this whole thing. This game doesn't have a save feature, and oh, uh, what's this? We've met with the log. Go, Sue. Uh, don't even say that, because there's definitely such a thing as ghosts. And yeah, this is the part where you first crap yourself because you can tell that there's something very wrong. And yeah, if you try to go on here, you can't. And then if you try to talk to her, she basically tells you to shut up. So you have to head in the opposite direction. And what? That freaked me out a lot the first time I saw that because it really doesn't look like you should be able to go there. And actually, I didn't know what to do here so I just like clicked off the first time because I thought maybe you'd have to wait for her or something but no matter how long you wait she can't move the logs and you can't move the logs so what you have to do is go up here and okay where'd she go okay there we go yeah you enter the woods and nothing is here honestly I was expecting a screamer at this point but uh to the game's credit it doesn't ever actually use anything like a screamer, so 
good for the game for being creepy on its own accords without relying on cheap scares. Oh, and I, I swear to God, I'm never going to put a screamer in any of these videos because I hate screamers and I feel like it would be really hypocritical to make you guys go through that because when I was little I saw my first screamer and it just really freaked me out. And yeah, see, for a little bit it gets bright again, but you'll see things aren't what they appear to be in this town. Gray Hoof, what a what a great creative name. And I do not see any food or drinks. I do see a pony. Yeah, that that was way too much like Homestar Runner. <laughs> Sorry, it's actually kind of funny. And let's talk to this person, Ronio. <laughs> I get it. Oh, well, wow, that was weird. Like, I feel like maybe he should have actually waited for a response before saying, fine, I'll tell you. Like, nothing, nothing provoked that. Ooh. Poor guy. Looks like we're going to have to go on a fetch quest. Let's talk to this guy. And, yeah, I've never actually seen the show this is based on, but apparently they all have some sort of mark, I guess. Oh, okay, this looks like a thing. Oh, just a red gem. That's pretty funny. I'm assuming in that world red gems aren't worth much. Yeah, okay, I skipped a line of dialogue and that horse just pushed me out of the way, but I did it. Yay. And it's bothering me that there aren't periods at the end of these sentences. There needs to be periods at the end of these sentences. And I want to see what's up here before I go in that building. Absolutely nothing of any importance. That's cool. Wait a second. Oh, what? Whoa, whoa, what? Okay. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, we hardly, if ever, leave. That is a bit of foreshadowing there. Setting up the creepiness of this game, and holy crap. Um, hang on. I think I have to go back to that house before I do that. That, I've never seen a horse that looked like that much like a character from The Grudge before. It's kind of freaky. And okay, yeah, that pony or whatever is freaking me out. Um, let's see, gotta not block my path here. It's like the stupid puzzles from Pokemon with the rocks and strength. Oh uh, god, I hate these so much. Um, See, so I have to push this to the side, push this down. Okay, did it. First try, alright. A crank, now what am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. Oh god, she's crying, that's kind of freaky. Hey. That is okay. Once again, and accepting an apology. Um, let's see, and then I think now I can go back to that other area that I went to before. It's pretty cool. And yeah, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to make this two parts. Um, got about six more minutes left in this part, though, so I'll see what I can do. I'm just going to be getting the good part when I cut off the episode. Sort of stinks, but oh well. And I can see something shiny down the well. Apple Boom lifts the bucket. Yay. It's a rusty old key. Mm, don't think I can go back here. No, I can't. Let's see. Go in the creepy old house, and that's fun. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's nothing in here. It's kind of freaky. Let's see, where did she go? Nothing in here. Nothing but bones. And yeah, this is where the game gets terrible. And you know what? Just to be a jerk, I think I'm going to cut off right right here. I will see you next time. Goodbye.